Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we're going to take a look at the case of a former escort who was convicted of running a £35,000 a week illegal puppy farm and had been jailed after being caught selling sick animals whilst on bail. Grace Banks, who was 29, was rumbled despite having six aliases, partly because of her distinctive groomed eyebrows pouty lips and a Mercedes Benz. She was found guilty of running an illegal puppy farm with her brother, Julian King, but continued to sell sick puppies, two unwitting families, for as much as £600 a time. There were reports that two of her victims have even become ill after catching stomach diseases from their new pets. It meant that she emerged from a five-month jail sentence in time to stand trial for new offences of animal cruelty and unlicensed pet selling and fraud. Prosecuting Hazel Stevens, told how Miss Banks tricked families into believing the tiny puppies were healthy predigrees when in fact they were often sick or dying. She was caught by the RSPCA after a raid at her £850 month address on Buckstones Road in Oldham. Inspectors found a dead puppy in the boot of her Mercedes which had suffered days of agony. A probe revealed that she had rented an address in Oldham, Rochdale and Littlebrook and even changed her name from Lily Cooper by deed poll to cover her track. Appearing at Manchester Minsall Street Crown Court in a black liver bomber, she was jailed for nine months by Judge Geoffrey Lewis. Describing the puppies, she sold as flea ridden, diseased and a risk to human health. The judge added this was well planned and sophisticated. The goal of his enterprise was maximum financial gain and you were the one benefiting from that gain. Insisting Miss Banks is remorseful, Marianne Alton defending said, Miss Banks is no saint and she may have made plenty of mistakes in her life but she wants to move forward and step away from on criminality. She said that her client had faced the agony of being released from prison only to be appeared before the courts again. Mr Lewis was critical of the prosecution's defence, the RSPCA and the GMP, the blunder which had led to the Crown Court not being made aware of a second ongoing investigation. When he jailed Miss Banks in December, he said if he had known, the two cases could have been combined for a sentence. But he reminded Miss Banks of Reed Street Gorton, that she had pleaded not guilty in her second enterprise despite overwhelming evidence against her. He jailed her for nine months and imposed a lifetime ban on her keeping or selling any animal. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by Miss Banks? Do you think a sentence of nine months was too harsh or not harsh enough? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this content please don't forget to like and share and if you're new to the channel and want to see more Street Crime UK content press subscribe and hit that bell so you can join us on the next video thank you for joining us and until next time stay safe